let's talk now about the PyTest assert magic. So as you know, when we fail an assert in PyTest, we also get noticed on what we failed on. So we know what was the left hand side and what was the right hand side. So we know what value we were expecting and what was the actual value. And this is very helpful when we have a testing framework because it really shows us what we failed on. Now, the regular Python assert is simply a function which receives as an argument a boolean, true or false. If it receives false, it throws an assertion, and if it receives true, everything is okie dokie and works fine. Now imagine you were a testing framework developer. So you are developing a testing framework that you're supposed to be friendly to the user. Now if you use regular assertions, then you won't help the user so much because the user wants to know what he failed on. The user doesn't want to know that he just failed. He wants to know what he failed on. So how can we record the values that went into the assertion? Because I remind you again that this assertion receives true or false. Now PyTest does it in a very interesting way. And one way to solve this, and this is the easiest way and most intuitive way, is to create function wrappers. So for example, this is what the unit test library does. It creates its own functions like assert equals, and it's actually a wrapper around the assert. So in that wrapper, we simply record the values that we get in, we maybe send a message and log it, and when the assertion fails, we know exactly what is happening. However, this approach may be easy to implement, but for the user, it's not really friendly because it means that our user is going to learn new syntax and it is just harder to learn the framework. So how does PyTest do it? Well, PyTest approach is to let's use those assert helper functions. However, we're not going to expose them to the user. We're going to call those assert helper functions underneath the hood, but the user is just going to call the regular asserts. There are a couple of ways of implementing this. Is One way is by rewriting the assert function and the other way is by reinterpreting. We're going to talk about the rewriting and that's the default behavior of PyTest. So because we're in Python, then we have the ability of introspection and we can take a look at things at runtime. So that's where the assert rewriting comes. So as PyTest is inspecting your source code and importing your test modules, then it is rewriting for every test module the assert function. So instead of calling the regular Python assert, the assert helper is going to be called. And the assert helper is going to do all the work. It's going to log, it's going to record what inputs do we get in the assertion. And that's the way that PyTest is getting all that useful information to display to the user. So PyTest does this by looking at the abstract syntax tree. This is some very cool work that PyTest is doing under the hood. So PyTest is looking at the abstract syntax tree and from the assertion input, for example, if you use the assertion with the equality operator, then it is deducing that it is comparing stuff. So it's going to be calling something equivalent to the unit test assert equal function that will record the input of the assertion. So the great thing about it is that PyTest is doing the exactly same thing, but it is hiding all that implementation under the hood. So that's the story of the assertion magic in PyTest. 